U is for unity. Respect, conscience and atonement are all terms related to the state of unity with the individual. Each term reveals a unique meaning when looking at their etymology. Respect is derived from the Latin prefix re, meaning back, again, anew, and the Latin verb spiceri, meaning to look at, behold, regard. Now the word respect can be interpreted as meaning to regard anew. Conscience consists of the Latin prefix con, meaning with or together, and the Latin verb scire, meaning to know. Now the word conscience can be interpreted as to know together or the common knowledge. Atonement consists of the word atone, meaning to make amends, reparation or restitution. It also means to be at one or in accordance with something or someone. Atonement also consists of the Latin noun mens, meaning mind. So now the word atonement can be interpreted as meaning at one mind. So to reiterate, beginning with respect, which is the showing of admiration for an individual's abilities or qualities, or showing due regard for the feelings, wishes and rights of the individual. Also, to show respect to the individual is to regard anew, to look back again to see the individual in a new light, with a new perspective, with new eyes. So for the new observer, not only will this change their perception of how they see God and others, but also how they view themselves. Changing one's perspective changes one's thoughts, emotions and actions to be conducive with the individual. Conscience is an individual sense of right and wrong. It can also be regarded as the common knowledge or the common sense. Common sense. Atonement is the action of making amends, reparation or restitution for having committed wrong. To seek atonement is to realign one's behaviours to be in accordance with the individual, at one mind with. The individual shown as the masculine with the feminine, or husband and wife, stands for uniqueness, being one of a kind, but also exclusivity. Keeping one's mind only on the individual keeps one's mind free of immoral thoughts, desires or temptations, instead remaining focused on things that are pleasing in the eyes of God. Matthew chapter 5 verse 27 to 28 Ye have heard that it was said by them of old time, Thou shalt not commit adultery. But I say unto you, that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her, hath committed adultery with her already in his heart. Romans chapter 12 verse 2 And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Just as the individual is to honour the individual through their own bodily integrity, to be morally pure, spotless and without blemish, the same integrity is required for the mind of the individual for mental well-being and cleanliness. Keep your mind focused on that which matters the most, the individual. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 21 to 25 If so be that ye have heard him, and have been taught by him, as the truth is in Jesus, that ye put off concerning the former conversation the old man, which is corrupt according to deceitful lusts, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and that ye put on the new man, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. Wherefore, putting away lying, speak every man truth with his neighbour, for we are members one of another. Second Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 
Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new.